Hello, I'm Kenneth Duran from the Los Angeles Times. I'm here with my colleague Justin Chang. We're here to talk about the Oscars. So Justin, you know, I'm going to ask you the question everyone knows the answer to. Is there a favorite this year for Best Picture? And what might that film be? I wonder. Uh, the favorite, <laughs> of course, is La La Land. Uh, you know it from its 14 Oscar nominations. It tied All About Eve and Titanic uh, with 14 nominations for the all-time record. And, and you know, the, the most nominated film doesn't always win Best Picture, but I think this is a year when it's definitely going to La La Land. Uh, it's won the Directors Guild Award for director Damien Chazelle. It's won the Producers Guild Award, and that combo is pretty very hard, hard to, to beat. Very hard to beat, yeah. yeah. And, um, yeah, and I think it just sort of, it's interesting, too, because given the people have been talking about in the current political mood, you know, will, will the Academy want to give Best Picture to something that really reflects the mood of the times, or will they want to give something that's kind of escapist and fun and, and, yeah. and uplifting? And I think La La Land suits that latter Yeah, and I think, uh, you know, bill. they also, the you know, the Academy likes to recognize its own, you know, recognize itself. It, it's a film set in Los Angeles. It's a film with a show business background. It's a film with actors in it, and actors provide uh, most of the votes for Best Picture, and they like to see themselves. But kind of, you know, I'm holding out, not, I wouldn't say I'm holding out hope, <laughs> but I mean, I think partly sometimes the Academy doesn't want to be taken for granted. That, you know, the voters are well aware that everyone thinks it's going to go to La La Land, and sometimes they get kind of ornery and they decide to strike out in another direction. It's possible, you know, that Moonlight, you know, which is, I think, a lot of critics' favorite film, mm -hmm. one of the favorite films, which is a really uplifting film, that they will go with that. Or, you know, the other thing I think, you know, one film that has started slowly but is gaining momentum is Hidden Figures. Yeah. You know, and I actually, I think, you know, if the voting were to extend another month, Hidden Figures might win. The question is, is it going to get enough momentum? to win this time. I'd say the odds are against it, but I think it's possible. It's very possible. I mean, I think once it would have seemed that the the viable challenger to La La Land would have been Moonlight, uh, which is my personal favorite in this race, uh, or Manchester by the Sea, which is another of my favorites, yeah. actually. Yeah. Those are probably, to me, the two best films that are nominated. But Hidden Figures, uh, which is a very entertaining film, um, has is the only film besides La La Land that has, I believe, crossed the hundred million dollar mark at the box office. They, the Academy always likes to uh, yes. likes it if they can give it to a hit. Not yes. always possible, but this time <laughs> it, 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 it is possible. Uh, and it also won the Screen Actors Guild for yes. it won the Best Ensemble, Ensemble Award, which yes. is uh, also for which La La Land, a, a two hander, was not even nominated. Yeah. It should be said, but uh, but still, yeah. Yeah, you just wonder. You wonder. Yeah, I'm also a fan of Manchester. I'm afraid that Manchester is too downbeat for voters this year. You know, even though. I've seen it twice. I could see it again. <laughs> it's funny too. It's yes, a very yes, funny. It's, it's yeah, a, and know, it has an upbeat, yeah. really ending, even though no one wants to acknowledge <laughs> that. But I mean, I think you know, maybe this is one of those films that it's just an honor to be nominated. You know, and maybe Manchester is happy to get all the nominations it got and have all the people who did see it see it. Absolutely. Well, you know, anything still could happen, and we will find out what does happen at the Oscars on February twenty-sixth. Be there.